Hello, Bob Kelly here from Flexera's product management team, and I'm excited to share with you today some new enhancements we've added to the package feed module in Admin Studio 2021. So before we begin, and you may have seen me say this before, but Admin Studio addresses daily needs. It is not just a tool for Windows migrations, a project tool, but one that really helps you with the ongoing need for new applications. There's constantly requests for a lot of packages. There'll be a whole spike of interest in packaging around the time of a Windows migration. But particularly with Windows 10, we don't have that big event, but more of an ongoing update and testing that occurs with each build of Windows 10 that happens about every six months. But there's ongoing deployments and always a need for updates to existing applications, particularly from security updates where you want to stay up to date with the latest version because of a disclosed software vulnerability. And then of course there's new software. So there's, there's feature updates, there's security updates, there's new requests for applications, and these things happen all the time, not just during a Windows migration. I introduced the package feed module about a year and a half ago, and since then we've had some good improvements of the numbers. I had stated that we would be increasing the number of installers on a daily basis, not just the number, but more frequently updating those that we already have listed. But we have seen a lot of updates. So the validated silent installation commands have jumped from 2000 to now 2600. The number of items in the catalog that have direct download within Admin Studio has jumped to 3000. And the total has jumped from 3000 to over 3600 entries. So in a year and a half's time, there have been thousands and thousands and thousands of updates to these applications as new versions are regularly rolled out. So that was the package feed module as it was originally introduced. We then came along and added some automation, first through PowerShell commandlets and some scripts we put in the community. Then we pulled that into the product. So you can now automate the processing of new application versions as they become available. And at the same time, we offered a way that you can take in an inventory, a CSV file of the software you care about, you know, against your, your catalog, which applications are you managing or need to get under management or get removed from your environment. And from a package feed module perspective, you're able to see how what we cover affects you and the applications you care about. One thing you'll notice when I run you through the demo in a minute is we now have uninstall commands a common requirement and one that we heard from many customers and decided to get added to the product so now there's silent installation commands uninstall commands and you might notice in the screenshot we now have icon images which is good for identification but is even more important when it comes to self-service systems and ways that you might be distributing the application and need that image file to go along with the application so we're providing that as well and the most significant thing is we are now providing application specific customizations for 90% of the over 1000 Windows installer packages covered. The reason it's Windows installer packages only is we're basically making it easy for you to take advantage of the many properties in the Windows installer package that are available without having to research what they mean. And in the end, the result is we create a customization transform file that you would deploy alongside your MSI and perhaps any existing MST or transform files that you created on your own. So this is uh, quite powerful and it, and it changes the, the dynamic a little bit of how you use the package feed module. You'll first go ahead and look up an application, find it in the catalog. We're looking for Chrome here. There's the one we want. Boom, we download that application directly in Admin Studio. Need it, no need to go digging for it on the vendor website. Now we see something different. Not just the silent install command line, but the silent uninstall command line. And in this case, because this is a Windows installer package for which we have customization, you'll see the title up on the top reflects customization available. And we have by default checked this box to create a transform file with those additional customization options. There will be depending on the application, on anywhere from one to three or four or five additional panels in the wizard here. And in this case, we're looking at the distribution preferences available for Chrome specifically. So very powerful. 
Of course, this command line information can also be used to take advantage of the built-in package automation that we've introduced. You can now have any of the applications that we have covered where we have all the information necessary. You can automatically detect there's a new version, automatically download it, test it, convert it to MSIX, to AppV, to MSI if you want to do a conversion or a repackaging. Or you can wrap it in PowerShell with the PowerShell App Deploy Toolkit or with uh, Yscript if you prefer that. And then finally, you can automatically publish it to SCCM. We recently added Intune. We have Workspace ONE, Zenworks, Avanti Landesk, and others. This automation can be run on a schedule, daily, weekly, as you prefer, and we'll even send you an email message that says, hey, Admin Studio has processed these applications. Obviously, to get this done completely from end to end means that we need the silent command line, we need the download, we need the detection logic, and we need all of that to be available to automate it. So we're not telling you we're automated all packaging, but there are many applications that meet the criteria and allow us to provide you this hands-off experience. So let's actually take a look now at the demo and I'll show you how it works. I'll start by importing an application using the package feed. Chrome's always a good example, so we'll use this one. There's the one I'd like. And this application is available for download, so I can obtain the latest version right here instead of having to go look for it myself. And now you can see at the top we've got customization available. We've got the install command line, we've got the uninstall command line, and we've got that box checked by default to go ahead and take advantage of those additional customizations. Chrome is an example of an application with a lot of options. So grouped here, we first see some basic installation options to choose from. I'll accept the defaults here for now. And for Chrome, one of the options is to set the default home page for the browser, which you can easily do right here with whatever value you like. And then we have some distribution preferences. And you can see a number of these are, are very intuitive and easy to understand. We've got some basic release notes, kind of show you what's changed over time. And then the last step of the wizard is to choose the destination for that package in your catalog. It then creates the transform file based on the choices we've made and completes the import process, running any specified tests along the way. Taking a look at this newly added application in the catalog, we can see that the icon file has been provided here on the General Information tab. And if we look at the package details, we can see the customization transform is being identified right here. And then of course we have our silent install command and also our silent uninstall command as well. So just to see the behind the scenes a little bit, let's take a look at the files created for this package. We've got everything you need right here. We've got the, the package, we've got the customization transform, and the icon image all ready for this application. And that's a quick look at our latest package feed module enhancements. You'll be able to try this out for yourself in our free trial version. And of course, customers on active maintenance can update as soon as it's available. It is currently scheduled for release toward the end of April 2021. Thank you for watching.